good morning students i would like to welcome everyone to the english online class even though you are at home we thought to share you some knowledge regarding a few subjects among them so first we will start with english so today our concept is parts of speech this is a basic concept basic concept of every student starting from primary to high school starting from first class to 10th class so this is the basic concept unless you have knowledge in parts of speech so it is very difficult to deal with english language so let me introduce the concept of parts of speech generally parts of speech it is so it is the categories of words that indicates how a word functions in a sentence what is the functioning of a word not a verb w o r d word what is the functioning of a word in a sentence sentences form together to make a paragraph paragraphs form together to make a lesson so in detail each and every word each and every word plays a key role a major role in english so each and every word it functions it functions a different category it functions a different function the different functions are here listed these eight parts of speech so in english we have eight parts of speech they are number one it is noun pronoun number 3 adjective number 4 verb number 5 adverb number 6 preposition number 7 conjunction number 8 interjection many of you will pronounce conjunction as conjunction that is completely wrong it is conjunction j u n c t i o n it is conjunction but not a conjunction just correct it so today we will discuss what is a noun the first parts of speech is noun now what is a noun noun is a naming word what is a noun noun is a naming word which names a person a thing place animal and idea noun is a naming word so noun names a person thing place animal and idea which means all the names of persons which means all our names your name my name your parents name everyone's names comes under noun all the names of uh, things things books benches pens all the objects comes under noun place so your place name your city name capital name country name street name area name so names of the days names of the months all comes under noun animal all the names of the animals also comes under noun finally idea it may be a strange thing for you idea so idea is nothing but it is it is it is called abstract noun which means the thing which we cannot see which we cannot hear and which we cannot touch only we can feel that is idea we will discuss in detail so about idea in the types of nouns we have we have different types of nouns so first type first type is a proper noun the first type in noun is a proper noun what is the meaning of a proper proper means one's own our own thing is our proper so all the names of persons our name is our own thing all the names of persons places and things come under proper noun i repeat all the names of persons places and things come under proper noun because name name is our own place place is also own which means anandapur so we have only one anandapur we don't have different different places with this name so it is a proper in the same way things things of our own also comes under proper noun
examples of proper noun example ashoka was a great king identify proper noun here ashoka ashoka is a proper noun how ashoka is a proper noun because it is the name of a person so ashoka was a great king of course king is also noun here but we are talking about a proper noun ashoka is a proper noun then what about king we will discuss in different parts different types of nouns you can identify what is a king next amaravati is a capital of andhra pradesh so here proper noun is amaravati it is a name of a place gandhi ji is the father of the nation here proper noun is gandhi ji it is a name of a person books spread knowledge books it is a, a thing so it comes under proper noun next second type in noun is a common noun the name itself common what is common noun the name given in common to a person or thing is a common noun the name given in common to a person or thing is a common noun example boy we can say boy girl but boy has different name that name is proper noun but that boy that the name of that boy is i mean a group of group of students is we can differentiate boy girl together boy girl together boy and girl come as taken as a students teacher and all the professions all the professions comes under common noun teacher doctor engineer singer player musician all the professions comes under common noun though they have for example myself imran so imran is a english teacher so imran becomes a proper noun english teacher teacher becomes a common noun because it indicates a profession though i have different name what i commonly called in the school i am a teacher so teacher is a common noun in the same way all the professions all the professions come under proper noun next third third type of noun is collective noun the name itself tells collection collective the collection of group of people or things taken together all things taken together and spoken as one unit though they are in the group but we spoke as only we take it as only singular for example team team the team is playing well but the team consists of group of players though the team consists of group of players we call it as a team army army means a group of soldiers group of soldiers together we speak as a army jury jury means the group of judges herd group of sheep cattle is a herd crowd group of people they form crowd mob group of thieves is a mob school school of group of fish is called school the school of fishes pride group of lions is called pride in this way we can discuss collective noun remember collective noun is always singular we have to use only singular form of the verb after this collective noun the team is playing well the army is on the way to rescue the people the jury is going to announce the winner in this way we have to use we have to take this collective noun as only singular and the next one is abstract noun i told you in the starting itself idea comes under abstract noun the thing which we cannot see touch and hear only we can feel is abstract noun for example knowledge can you see knowledge can you hear knowledge can you touch the knowledge no only we can feel it richness richness cannot be seen in costly dresses or else in the luxury homes richness can be felt poverty those who are living in small hut in a old building they are not poor so poverty cannot be seen cannot be touched cannot be heard only it can be felt freedom freedom also cannot be seen cannot be touched cannot be heard only it can be felt the same way punishment 
so these examples comes under abstract noun and this is called idea which we discussed in the starting of the here idea this idea is nothing but abstract noun so students today we will finish this class with this few types of nouns and we have few more types of nouns we will discuss in the next class so so then students keep keep repeat repeat this video and then try to write the points and learn the definitions of noun thank you so much for watching so have a good day thank you so much